Suppose yt is equal to xt cos t and y omega which is the Fourier transform of yt is equal to 2 when mod omega is less than equal to 2 and it is equal to 0 otherwise then xt will be. There are 4 options and we need to choose the correct option after calculating signal xt. In the question we are having one time domain signal yt and y it is having two different parts. The first part is xt and the second part is cos t and the two parts are multiplied. The Fourier transform of y it is given it is defined like this and using the Fourier transform we need to calculate the first part which is xt. So let's see how we can calculate xt. The Fourier transform y omega is equal to 2 when mod omega is less than equal to 2 or we can say the Fourier transform is equal to 2 when omega is greater than equal to minus 2 but less than equal to 2 and it is equal to 0 for other values of frequency omega. So we will write it is equal to 0 otherwise and from the definition it is clear that the Fourier transform is a rectangular function. It is equal to 2 between minus 2 and 2 otherwise it is equal to 0. So the waveform will look like this. The amplitude A is equal to 2. This frequency is equal to minus 2. This frequency is equal to 2. And we know, we know the time domain signal whose Fourier transform is a rectangular function is A0 sampling KT. Sampling function is having a rectangular function as the Fourier transform. And from here, we can easily calculate the value of A0 and K because we know the amplitude A is equal to A0 pi over K and this frequency is equal to minus k and this frequency is equal to k. So it is clear that k is equal to 2 and a0 pi by k is equal to 2. a0 pi by k is equal to 2. This implies a0 is equal to 4 over pi. So we have the time domain signal yt. yt is equal to 4 by pi sampling 2t. We know sampling 2t is equal to sine 2t divided by 2t. So we have 4 over pi sine 2t divided by 2t. Sine 2t we can write as 2 sine t cos t. So 4 over pi 2 sine t cos t divided by 2t. 2 and 2 will cancel out. So yt is equal to 4 sin t divided by pi t multiplied to cos t and it is clear that 4 sin t divided by pi t is our signal xt because yt is equal to xt multiplied to cos t as given in the question. So xt is equal to 4 sin t divided by pi t. So option A is the correct option and this is method number 1 to solve this question. Now we will move to method number 2. In method number 2 we will use the property of Fourier transform. We know the area under the frequency domain signal y omega is equal to 2 pi multiplied to its corresponding time domain signal when t is equal to 0. So area under the frequency domain signal y omega is equal to 2 pi multiplied to y t when t is equal to 0. Area under y omega we can calculate from this plot. We are having the rectangle and the area of the rectangle is equal to 2 multiplied to 4. So area under y omega is equal to 8 and it is equal to 2 pi multiplied to y0. From here 
we are getting y0 equal to 4 over pi and we know y t is equal to x t multiplied to cos t when t is equal to 0 we are having y0 equal to x0 cos 0 cos 0 is equal to 1 so this implies y0 is equal to x0 and they are equal to 4 over pi so x0 is equal to 4 over pi and in option a when you put t is equal to 0 you will find sine t divided by t will become 1 and we are left with 4 over pi this means option a is the correct option so this is method number two to solve this question so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one